Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to take up this game with your time and bandwidth. Today's game is Please Fix the Road. The road, it's broken, or it doesn't connect, or some other infrastructure problem. Could you fix the road? I mean, they did ask nicely. Please Fix the Road is currently only available on PC, and its MSRP is $10. And to get through the game's 160 puzzles will probably take you around 7 hours or more. And as a full disclosure, a key for this review was provided by the developers. So what exactly is Please Fix the Road? Well, it is a grid-based puzzle game around connecting roads, streams, pathways, whatever, to form a complete path from beginning to end. The core concept of this game is extremely simple. You'll be given a small level with a Borked Road. On the bottom, you'll be presented with a queue of tools at your disposal. It's up to you to use those tools to affect the various tiles on the map so that it ends up as a beautiful connected road so my grandma can get to Village Inn in time for Sunday brunch. The complexities come with those tools. Since you can't choose their order, you'll need to assess your entire tool set ahead of time to best plan ahead for how to solve the puzzle. Additionally, the number of tools starts simple but gets trickier as it goes along. You'll start with just placing single road tiles of varying directions, then have to demolish old roads, then elevation is important, then the game forces larger multi-grid shapes that you'll have to accommodate for, and before you know it, you're copy-pasting chunks of tiles, rotating tiles, swapping tiles, and realize that this once simple game has gotten very tricky. The game has a whopping 160 levels in it with steadily increasing complexity and difficulty. I'll say about the first 30 to 40 I found to be a fun challenge, and after that the game goes big mode and requires you putting on your Bob the Builder hat in order to beat it. Thankfully, it does have a hint system as well as an undo button, so it never gets super frustrating. And that's basically the entire game. At its core, this game is simple and it runs with it. Blast through a huge number of puzzles with an ever increasing complexity of tools because that dang road really needs to be fixed. So what do I like about Please Fix the Road? Well man, this game has a massive amount of puzzles. 160 is insane and it will take you many hours to get through them. Additionally, I feel like this game's pace and how it teaches you the tools is nearly perfect. It has a fantastic escalation of tools and abilities starting you off simple and then steadily increasing that complexity until the later batches of puzzles are absolute mind breakers. And last Lastly, I love the way this game looks. I think its presentation is fantastic and charming, and the level transitions are really cute, with many different biomes and road types keep everything feeling fresh. When it comes to the bad, some of the tools at the bottom aren't super clear on what they'll lay out until they come up, making it more difficult than it should be to plan ahead. Similarly, I suffered a bit with readability around this game, mostly heights of objects at times. While it wasn't enough to make me quit or anything, it was enough to definitely annoy me. And lastly, this game is a what you see is what you get. You get 160 maps of puzzly road connections, its simplicity is its strength, but I know for some that might not be enough. As you know, our games here on a three-point scale must play, maybe consider, don't bother, and I'm gonna be real, I low-key love this game and think it is a must-play. The beautiful aesthetic and animations paired with the near-perfect escalation of mechanics and puzzles kept me engaged, and learning the tricks around each particular tool was certainly an aha moment for me that made me feel like a genius. I will say that its difficulty spike is brutal, but the purity of this game's here's some puzzles no BS really resonated with me, and beating puzzles is just so satisfying. If you're looking for a simple, satisfying, satisfying puzzler that'll challenge your brain and your mom could play, you should definitely go and help them fix the road. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you heard of this game or checked it out on Steam, please let me know in the comments. But regardless, be sure to go check it out.